Hi, I'm Francois Beauregard of the Montreal Ibu, a blind hockey team that has been in existence for close to 40 years here in Montreal. We had a privilege today to play a, a bit of a demo uh, between two periods in the game between the Canadians and the Flyers. So it was great for us to showcase our sports in front of a, such a crowd. Um, the sport of blind hockey is, is really, it's like regular hockey. There's a few different rules. One is the puck is larger, slower and noisier. There need to be a complete pass in the offensive zone before we score. But besides that, it's, it's regular hockey, really. That's what it is. All the players see 10% or less of a normal vision. There's different type of vision loss, but really it's basically it's 10% and less. So we need something that help us to track the puck. So right now the puck is a metal a steel casing with bearings in it, so it makes a lot of noise. It rattles a lot and it's slower because it's a bit heavier and it's larger too, so it helps us track the puck. Well, there, there's teams in Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Toronto, Montreal, Halifax in, in Canada. And in the US now you start to have teams in uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Chicago, Washington, New York, uh, Denver now just started a team. So the, the sport is growing. The goal is to go Paralympic, obviously. That's what we'd like to do. We're just regular athletes or hockey players enjoying the sports that we love. It really, it's the same thing. We need to communicate a bit more on the ice. Uh, we need to be uh, a bit more conscious of where things are, like boards <laughs> and nets. Uh, but really, it's the same thing as a game. And what is great uh, with adapted sports uh, and, and, and such as blind hockey, it could be sledge hockey and all that. It helps people who are living their day-to-day -day lives with the challenges of an handicap, have, have a social activity together where all barriers disappear. We are, we're just hockey players, but when we step out of the, the arena, well, we pull out our white canes and, and, and we start to live in the side of the world. And it's, it, it, it's, it's good for us to have a place to socialize and have fun and integrate new people. So they learn that there's nothing you cannot do. If you put your mind into it, the, the only limits you have is the, are the ones you're imposing on yourself.